Okay, in this video, we're going to go through how to update your ESC to the Sammy K uh, firmware. First of all, we'll go over the things that you need. Obviously, you need your speed control. You need the uh, USB ASP uh, programming card that uh, plugs into your computer. And then um, you need this particular cable that you get from Hobby King. It's about 10 bucks, and it just makes uh, programming much easier uh, to help you line up with the pins. On your ESC. In addition to these hardware things that you need, you're also going to need some software. Come over to the computer. First of all, you're going to need to go to this site, and which has a list of the different um, firmware versions that you can get for each different speed control. And you can go to this website up here to get that. Um, and then you can just go down to the list to find the speed control that you have. And in my case, I have a Turnigy TYP1 right here, and it says I need the firmware file BS hex. So you get those files from um, this site right here, and you just click uh, click on the zip file right here. It downloads the zip. Click that up to open that, and here are all the those different files that you need. I particularly need. This one right here named BS Hex. I'm just gonna copy and I'm gonna paste that to my um, desktop so that I have that later. So now we have the, the, the firmware that we need. We downloaded the firmware. The other thing you're gonna need, of course, is you're gonna need the KK flash tool, multicopter flash tool, seven point, um, 7.0 is the one that I like to do. So you go down here, screen here, you can download the flash tool, and you're also going to need the um, drivers for your USB ASP. I'm not going to go into detail in this video how to um, download the driver, install the driver, and then uh, open up the KK flash tool. I have another video that I did on upgrading the firmware on your KK2 uh, multicopter board from 1.2 to 1.5 and you can check out that video to see uh, more detail how to load that. In this video, I'm gonna assume that you've already got your KK uh, flash tool open and ready to go, and you've got your USB ASP uh, drivers loaded and it's ready to load the firmware. So what we're gonna do first is I'm gonna go over to the, to the board here. I'm gonna peel open our, to save time, I already cut it open. Gonna flip open your speed control here, and we're gonna zoom in to uh, the chip that we need to work on here. And here's the chip that we're gonna work on right here, and this matches up with our little device here that we got from Hobby King. And you'll see in the top left-hand corner, there's a little circle. That little circle is going to match up with the little red dot that comes on our device right here. It matches up to that corner, so we wanna match that corner that corner right here with that dot right there. Okay, so we'd be hold it in there like so. So come in there like that, and we'd be holding it over like that. And you have to hold it on there very firmly while you're programming. Okay, so what we're gonna do, I'll widen this out again. We're gonna plug in our USB ASP. We're gonna plug in our cable into our USB ASP. So we're ready to start programming. I'm gonna go back over to the computer. First thing you want to go to, to your, uh, make sure your USB ASP is in there. Go to the control, you want to pick the uh, AT Mega 8 base brushless ESC, pick that. And we're gonna pick our file, so we click on there. I've already got the desktop chosen. You might find my file, there it is, BS hex. Open that up. And we're gonna do, we're gonna hit this green button here which loads this file right here, BS hex, into, um, into the USB ASP which we're gonna deliver it into our speed controller. So right now we're gonna take this, we're gonna line it up properly over our chip. We're gonna hold down nice and firmly while we reach over to the computer here and hit the green button. It's loading and now it's reading. And now the firmware is successful. So now I'm just going to test to make sure that my speed control works properly now. So I'm just going to use this 
servo driver to go in there. We're going to give it some power. Give it some power there. Let's put a motor on. Okay, and let's just see if it turns up. There we go. And that's how you load that KK firm firmware into the um, sorry, the Samake firmware into this particular ESC.